We have to wait until my boss gives me the okay that everyone has arrived. We collect you from all over the city, bring you here and then begin on the tour. If anyone would like extra air, then you can get extra air above if you like. Yeah, we're cooling the bus as much as we can. It's very hot weather today, 30 degrees, 30. Yeah, if you double it and add 30, you come to Fahrenheit. So doubling it would be 60 and 30. That's in Fahrenheit, 90 then 90. Nice, lovely hot weather today. So there we are. Once again, good morning. Good morning to you all and a warm welcome to the tour today, the number one the Grand City Tour of Vienna. <coughs> so what are we going to do and what are we going to see today? Before we start, just like to introduce both of us to you, our driver this morning. Her name is Pauline. Pauline is our driver taking care of us and my name is Jennifer. So what are we going to do what are we going to see this morning? We're going to see the main sites in the center of Vienna. We're in the south of the city at the moment. We're going to go down to the center and we're going to drive around the Ringstrasse. The Ringstrasse is one of the great historical avenues of Europe. Where the Ringstrasse is today, there used to be the old city walls and medieval fortifications and they were pulled down the walls and the beautiful avenue laid out around the center. So we're going to see beautiful pu public buildings and homes of aristocratic former noble families. We will also pass by St. Charles Church, a very beautiful St. Charles Church. We're going to see um, on the Ringstrasse, we will pass part of the Hofburg. Hofburg, H-O-F, Hof is court, and Burg, B-U-R-G, is the name for a palace or a castle. So the Hofburg was the name of the winter palace of the Habsburgs. Not be confused with Habsburg. The family Habsburg ruled for 640 years. 640 years, Habsburg. Habsburgs came from Switzerland, just had the question in front, the Habsburgs came from Switzerland. By the way, you can always ask me any questions, just please don't ask me how old I am, that's always a secret, not how old I am. By the way, you can hear the microphone all right, can you at the back, it's all all right? Yes. Okay, we're cooling the bus down as much as we can, yes, it's a little bit warm, but get some more air if you want to. Ten years of occupation by the Americans, the Brits, the French and the Russians. Yeah, just like Berlin, Vienna was divided up into zones. You needed a passport to go from one side of the city to the other. And only in 1955, 1955, Austria became a free and sovereign country. The Swiss Embassy, the next building on the right, and at the end of this road is the French Embassy. The French Embassy was built in around 1900, the white building with the golden figures on top. In just a moment, you will see on the right the Russian Liberation Monument. The Russian army was the first army to arrive in Vienna at the end of World War II, and they liberated the city and they erected this monument on the right amongst the trees very quickly after World War II. So the Russian soldier you see here on the right. You see the fountain in front, the fountain. This fountain was erected after we have a very special water supply in Vienna. We have mountain spring water in Vienna. That means drink the tap water. Yeah? It's a very, very good quality. If you've got any plastic bottles or anything, if you buy a drink somewhere, and you have a plastic bottle, I always put my plastic bottle into, I have a small one, into my bag, yes, and then everywhere there's a toilet or somewhere, then I fill up, everywhere, we, we have mountain spring water in Vienna, mountain water, the fountain remembering the good water supply. All the buildings around us here now are approximately 150 years old, the, the ones in front. Here on the right, this one is a modern building, of course. This has just been completed, but these others are mostly offices. In front, 
the monument for Schwarzenberg. He was the army commander who defeated Napoleon the beginning of the 1800s. It was the biggest disaster that ever happened to Vienna, the plague, the bubonic, the Black Death, and the church was built after the plague was over. Yes, the church, the plague, the Black Death. On the right-hand side, on the right-hand side, being restored is the famous concert house. This is where the New Year's concert is being televised from all over the world on New Year's Day. It's just being restored on the outside, but inside this is the best acoustics in the world, the golden hall of the Musikverein. One is now used for the underground, the other one a little coffee house and museum. They were built around 1900, 100 years old. Please look in front on the left hand side, you see the succession building, the white building with a golden leaf dome. This is a modern art exhibition building. It was built 100 years ago. A group of modern artists left the Conservative Art Club, they founded their own union and they erected this building. One of the leaders, the modern artist 100 years ago, was Gustav Klimt. Have you heard of Gustav Klimt? Gustav Klimt, one of his paintings was sold on the New York market last year and I have a picture of it in the basement of this building. It's a long frieze by Gustav Klimt. One of his paintings was sold on the New York market last year and it was sold for 135 million US dollars, yes, Gustav Klimt.